All right, let's start up the live stream here. As you can tell by the title, we're going to get into some bicycle division building today. As always, we're going to be playing on Elite Iron Man mode with Historical AI. This is Efficient Strategy Gaming, and we will be playing Hearts of Iron 4, Japan. Good to see you, Ikarik. We will do the bicycle today for sure. And uh, good to see you, Bearju. So I've, me and Bearju have been planning behind the scenes. And uh, we've got a plan to take over a certain part of the world. I won't spo uh, spoil it as of yet. Homa, good to see you, man. I've been chatting with uh, Homa all day today. How did the Italy build go? Let's start the game up. The one thing with the Italy build that throws people off, you have to get the war goals from the focus tree. And that will spike world tension less because they're annex goals. So if you go use political power and get your war goal like this, you right click on a country and then you can take claimed state. Take Taking claimed state is going to raise world tension by 18%. Um, so it's going to be less. We, Japan has a claim state against Russia, though. And in a lot of situations, that's not the case. So if I just have a conqueror war goal, it's going to raise uh, world tension by 20%. And then if you have an annex war goal, I think it's less than take claim state. So it should be around, it should be less than 18% world tension spike. And uh, Bearju was asking, what is our world tension now? It's at 56%, so there's going to be a lot of wars kicking off. Uh, we're wondering when the U.S. will actually come into the war. The giant awakes. Change the economic law to civilian economy, which grants consumer good factories. Okay. Has nothing to do with war, though, I guess. They're just improving their industry right now. Good question. What does uh, Europe look like? Germany is currently eating Poland. So... We talked about early bear, earlier, Bear Jew, that we need to wait for Germany to declare war on France and thus be at war with the Allies. And then we're going to be taking over Southeast Asia today. Probably not going to be taking over the Philippines. The Philippines... That's a very interesting choice because they don't have a lot of resources, and I know they don't have a lot of factories, but down here in the dusty ch Dutch East Indies in British Malaya, there is a lot of resources. A lot. So this is where we're going gonna to aim our attack. Maybe the thought is, logistically, you need these islands that are closer uh, just to be able to keep up your supply chain. All right, so to recap what happened in the last live stream, we took out China and then all the different states, we just uh, made China a puppet government. Then we clicked on the Chinese flag, the reorganized government of China, and then gave them all the, the rest of the states while we took the coastline. And the coastline is where most of the goodies are. Got some steel, tungsten, Chromium down there. But I think it's basically most of the industry. 
And then this buffers us from uh, the Soviet Union. So if we go after the Soviet Union, we can attack through Manchuko or China right here. It would be nice to take out Southeast Asia and um, through a land-based strategy as well an, as a naval-based strategy. I'm not sure. Siam's not aligned with anyone, so it doesn't look like we could go through here unless we declared war on them. Okay, in terms of our focus tree, we're on army expansion, and then we're going to get down to bicycles right here. Um, let's set up a two-pronged front here. So as I just said, we're going to have the land base war here against France, and then take out the Raj. And then we'll do some naval invasions here bicycles only everyone keeps telling me they take up a lot of uh, support equipment we are low on support equipment our closest naval base down here is only two so we're going to need to buff this naval base for sure That looks okay. This is 10 out of 10 right there. I think we prepped for that. So we should be probably taken off from here then. Great, <laughs> so be it. Okay, so let's get, I don't know what these guys' orders are. Let's take off their orders. And if you guys are new players and you've come to this channel to know, get a sense of how to play, try not to build too many different types of armies. Try to concentrate your armed forces under one field marshal using five generals. You don't need a lot of troops. You just need the troops that you have to be performing really well. So I already can see that we're going to have a problem. I only have four Marines. Looks like these guys have all types of upgrades here. He must have a Field Marshal upgrade. Um, Yamada's got these special forces upgrades as well. And I think they get that because they must have... doesn't look like they have Trickster. Okay. This guy is perfect for naval invasion because he has the commando negative 25% out of supply. And right now our generals are really buff. Okay, so... Yamashita is my spearhead guy at a level of six. He's got engineer, scavenger, gorilla fighter. <clears throat> but Yamada is a level seven with that horse. So he's the horse uh, mobile infantry guy. So he's the cavalry expert. I'm just kind of trying to reevaluate what I've got here because during the war with China, I didn't have a real, a lot of time to focus on what these guys have, what they upgraded into. Hey, Parker, good to see you. I do not play CK2. No time.
All right, so let's go ahead in and build. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to build any more of these amphibious assault divisions. So let's put some select forces on this amphibious assault. And the way that I've been doing amphibious assaults have basically just been how you see here. I go for a port and then the two provinces right next to it. Okay, the rest of these guys can travel over here to await deployment. Or over there would be fine. They're coalition troops. And then these guys will not be useful over here in Southeast Asia. So what do we have here? We have jungle, we have hills, uh, probably low infrastructure, high attrition type situations. So we're probably only gonna be going in with uh, infantry equipment and artillery Zeno what's up dude you are a bold one Zeno are you a uh, Adrian Peterson fan all day every day So I think the better part of Valor is going to be taking these horse troops and then basically slamming them into French Indochina. If we can get in here real quick and maybe not get our puppet into the, the war, I think that that would be better. Looks like this is a no no pass area. But if we can drive through there real quick, I think that would be good. Get to right there and then part of the forces split off and go south. Actually, we could just plan for that right off the bat. What level is this guy? He's level seven. Wow. And he's got trickster, ranger. He's got everything that we need. Okay, so let's switch this up. Yamada should be going south. Tanaka will be going... towards the Raj. He's got everything we need and he's got the good infantry and he's got the 30 with the army. Oh, nice. Yeah, I will. I don't know if they've had time to make divisions. I'll definitely request forces. This is right after we got uh, the Chinese um, puppet. And we did request garrison support, and they gave us a million manpower, so that's awesome. Okay, so that should work like that just fine. And then we need to make sure that the... Let me double check that the infrastructure is good up to here. Looks okay. Yeah. 
And we don't quite have enough infantry equipment to train anything yet. That was interesting how all this stuff popped in. Let's check out occupied territories here. Let's upgrade this to the MP. Oh, they all are. And here's my MP division template with the armored cars in. So the MP support regiment gives you 20% suppression bonus. And then the armored car has a 0.5 extra modifier to suppression over cavalry regiments. So that combined with this means that you have to use up a lot less manpower. Of course, they are fairly expensive. Let's have Yamashita up here. Bearju, I'm assuming this is the area that's contested. That little piece right there. If we happen to go to war against uh, Russia. So there should be an event in decision here. Okay. The question is, when do you feel that I should go and do that? test the Soviets and when am I going to be uh, strong enough to be able to do that too let's go ahead and beef up our tank division which is this let me see how much um, we have a motorized deficit so let's just keep it like that for now and I need to produce 136 tanks. Woof. Okay, so the, the divisions are going to stay like that for now. Okay, so we'll do it first. Do you think that these guys are going to be up for it? I mean, this looks pretty poor. I need to, to boost my production somehow. That's what needs to happen. There's a river there. Okay. Good thing to bear in mind. Um, he has scavenger. Uh, he does have engineer. So that would be helpful. I've got the Marines attacking Malaya. Are we getting the Malaya war goal from the focus tree? Like, I wish we could... I definitely need to strengthen the armed forces altogether, so... Could try getting more forces here for my puppets. Swing and a miss. Yeah, they don't have enough equipment to even supply the forces that are in the field. Complete the strike south doctrine focus. When France has capitulated, this will give you Indochina. Okay. Okay, so we have a few months. Uh, let's put... Let's take these guys off orders. Put them in here for a sec. And I guess we'll just run them back and forth. 
God, we did not get a lot of equipment from China, but we did lose a lot of equipment and probably half a mil of uh, manpower for sure. So that's really tough. Start reorganizing everything here. Those guys can chill. And then... Let's have these guys post up right there for now. Got plenty of oil. Resources are looking well. I think I checked this last time. I think I've got all the resources coming from the right place. Okay, we're good there. Justin Colonial Template. You think that's the way to go? Probably, huh? Our main battle template is this right here. We just need to produce stuff. Okay, Poland just capitulated. Things are going to start going quick here. Okay, so I need to build an airport closer. Let's get one up here in North Korea. Should be good. Let's check out infrastructure. That's awful. Okay, bikes are coming, guys. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, Justin. Okay, so let's make a colonial template. Wow, that template's better than ours. Twenty with with a uh, support artillery regiment. That's probably the one we should go with. Yeah, it kind of looks ugly, but it looks ugly on paper. But it's got everything that we need, and we can train that up after we have equipment. We don't have any equipment though. Okay, so as soon as we have 50 political power, we'll start to start up a war against Russia. Okay, the other thing we need to think about, though, is if we're going to go up against Russia, we need piercing. At this point, I'm thinking that... This provides so much for us, though. We're way behind on this production, so let's get our piercing from AA. 
And of course, I love the fact that they have dual purposes. They can shoot down airplanes and tanks. So let's definitely go with the Type 98 20 millimeter. Convert divisions. So convert the divisions into this. I think we're good on manpower right now. I don't think I'm understanding your meaning there, Justin. <laughs> Chris, nice to meet you, dude. Okay, and there we are. We're way down on our tank uh, equipment here. Let's see what exactly they need. Wow, they even need guns. Okay, they should be... Okay, this was a mistake. They should have elite status so that they get the guns first. But let's go ahead and start it up with uh, China. Let's test the Soviets. I'm sorry, the Soviets. Okay, so if we do well here... We, are, we share a long border with the Soviet Union in Korea, in Manchuria. A large number of potential flashpoints exist where our forces might clash at any moment. For us, this creates an opportunity to test the Soviet response to a minor provocation. Justin, main army division goal is this right here, 7-2. But this is mainly what we have. We could farm some guns from this division template. But, hmm. Yeah, we could alter that division template and potentially get some guns back for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and take some, make some of these divisions a little smaller, as Justin suggested, and that'll help with our gun problem. Okay, so we got like, either it was like 500 guns back. It's perfect. And those divisions should look really good now. Let's go ahead and start it up with the Soviets. Oh, so alter the Chinese template? Yeah, we could do that too. Is there something closer to what I need though, is the question. Probably. Let's just get their uh, 20 width. Copy that one. Let's mess with this one a bit. There we go. This will be better. And we are on superior firepower doctrine, so artillery works a lot better. When the conflict starts, there's only a limited amount of troops that will fight. It also randoms who fight 
It's also a random general. Okay, so I don't even get to choose. So should I put those Marines back on their other um, order? Uh, Chris, have you found the resistance system is kind of strangulating in this patch? It was at first, but once I understood the... You keep them? Okay, I'll keep them over there. So, Chris, once you understand the mechanics of it, which it's a lot, it's a bit overwhelming at this point when you have spies as well to worry about, what you have to do... Everyone's told me to keep civilian oversight, but I don't know if that works. I think the resistance modifiers are worse in elite Iron Man mode. So, basically, if I get a newly conquered country... Um, and then there are different modifiers as to what co that country is, but I find that there's a lot of resistance in Belgium, for instance, and uh, the UK around London, the bigger cities have more resistance. I go martial law immediately, and pretty much you don't want to go into any of these because the resistance modifier, like you're going to get more resistance suppression the most with martial law. And if you go brutal opp oppression, you can get more resistance suppression, but uh, you're not gaining any compliance whatsoever. Uh, so your best bang for your buck is martial law. And then I start out there and just play with it as you go along. Obviously, it would be best if we could go civilian oversight because our compliance is going to raise... The quickest but that's not always a good option is there a way to switch the position of the templates like in the lineup I don't think so oh, where's my boy cred feel that I don't know man he can't make all the streams I think he missed the last, no, he missed the one before last. Bearju, do you think I should start making uh, the carrier bombers and stuff like that? We've got the Zero Carrier Fighter 2. And we've got a decent amount of production going into that. I definitely need to create to keep this production efficiency. So the improved Artie is going to go on another line. I don't know what the multiplayer template is, Chris, but this is the template that me and Bearju are working with. Don't use the carrier cast, it's terrible. Only use carrier fighters and bombers. Okay, so then do I need to change this up a bit? Because this is not a carrier fighter. Oh, for your carrier, use nothing but carrier fighters and bombers. Okay, so we're doing... Carrier cast sucks. So we do carrier naval bomber. And then we've, we're already producing the zero, so we're good for that. Wow, 
Wow, that's quite the deficit there. We need production, and we need production fast. Yegor, good to see you, man. Is cavalry a good choice for a defensive army? Maybe with the buffs. I'm never really on the defense, to be honest with you. Uh, let's check out the buffs here. This guy has a 10% cavalry expert. You're paying a little bit more for cavalry, though. The template costs a little more in production cost. So if you go here um, for the same width of just straight up infantry, I think it costs a little bit more, but not too bad. Um, I'm not sure that if there are modifiers. So you have these other modifiers right here that their attack in hills isn't as good. Uh, forest, but it's mainly attack. There are no defensive modifiers. If we go to an infantry template, uh, the infantry have defensive modifiers. So I would say no. For defense, never use cavalry. It's always best to use infantry with engineer company. And most of these modifiers are because of the engineer company, but I'm pretty sure that infantry have better entrenchment as well. The cavalry is mainly to exploit uh, breakthroughs. And then you can hold them better if they have that defense. Need armor, hard penetration. Pretty sure that all this is necessary, but... Let's max out some of these. We need this so bad. Hello, that one friend. Your armor has to be higher than the enemy's penetration. Yep. Supremacy of will gains national spirit, superior will, which grants division recovery rate 10%, division attack 10%, division defense 10%. God, you need that so bad. And then Bearju, where... So we're going to get the bicycle to battalions. Then where do we get the Southeast Asia war goal from? Pacific Guardian. Okay, it doesn't look like it's over here. It's definitely not going to be over there. Build up the Manchurian army. army. Preemptive war. Gains war gains annex war goal against the Soviet Union, where the China focuses are. Okay. Sign the tripartite pact. Okay. Strike South doctrine. Unlocks decision demand Indochina. So I'm sure that that's Vietnam. And then we can get a non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union. Bypass the Philippines. Secure the southern resource area. Annex war goal against Dutch East Indies and British Malaya. But don't... Okay, because they're not going to be in it because they're puppets. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is, is right through here. All right. Let's get those bicycles first. Okay, we've got, we formulated a pretty good plan here, so let's just zoom through this. We need to get offensive wars going here as quickly as possible. 
but in order to set that up, we need infrastructure and supply to be uh, in order, and we have to build all this stuff that I don't think really helps out our resource gain or anything like that. So it's kind of a waste. I feel like it's a bit of a speed bump, and we need to focus on production here. We don't really have resource issues. We're going to get plenty of oil, so I'm not oil and rubber, so I'm not worried about any of this. Could get that research speed up. That seems like that would be good. Uh, Bear Jew, heavy fighters. Or we could go fighter threes and then just make them long distance. The thing I don't understand about the zero, it's so funny. Like, the zero's not even on the tech tree, right? So it's just like its own thing. There's scout planes now, and there's an upgrade to it. It would kind of be nice to get the fighters going. There's not a lot of mountains that we're, we're going to be going into the mountains, but we're going to need Marines more, more often than not. So I don't think that we'd have enough. We don't have enough research time to go uh, mountain infantry. The zero is carrier fighter two. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Thanks, guys. Still getting used to this whole thing. What I would like to do is get the tanks going. Just to plan ahead here. Max put range on zero and get kamikazes. For sure, that's the plan from the start. Okay, so Germany got Paris, so... Okay, that's done. Yikes. Okay, so now we can go over... Um, wait a second here. So now Vichy France has that area. Of course they would. How do we get over to the Raj? So I'm going to have to line these guys up over here. Get them going down there. So I will have to get China into this war with the allies, which is fine because we own the coast. If you join the Axis, will they give it to you? Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure about that one. We'll have to play through here and see what happens. I'm still waiting for this war to kick off over here. Quick question. Should I escalate the incident?
starts a border war between North Korea and Vladivostok. Is that what I need to do? Window of opportunity. Uh, we already have the naval invasion to British Malaya, so we got that going for us. Uh, plans on Marines we can't build anymore. We don't have enough equipment because of the war with China. So we ran out of equipment. I'm just eyeing... This is probably where our money is because we're on superior firepower doctrine. I probably need to keep on upgrading the artillery because that's where the magic happens in this build. I kind of want the improved computing machines because it's a plus 8% research speed. You might accidentally end up uh, with war. If I escalate, okay. Effects if not completed within 13 days. Political power negative 100. Gain base war support negative 10. Now we're going to escalate this situation. I'm not losing that uh, war support for sure. Chris, you like to push that as uh, push forward on the arty, I think. Japanese victory at Lake Kasan. We've settled this matter honorably. Wow, 100% research bonus for land doctrine and uh, armor technology. That was 100% worth it. That was awesome. Okay, so that is why... Baird, you gave me a heads up that that might happen. That's why we went Hago, because now I get the air. I can go light tank threes with 100% um, bonus to the research. So that's why we went the Hago when we did. You know what would be nice is if there was like an equation to how um, attrition works. Does artillery have less attrition than companies that need support equipment, for instance? I know that tanks have a high attrition rate, but where is this modifier in the game? How do you find it? I guess you can do observational studies and see, like, yeah, the tanks in the mountains get lost really quickly. There's a high attrition. But um, you can crank out artillery pretty quickly. So even if there is a higher attrition rate with artillery, you can crank it out. So let's see. Your basic artillery costs 3.5, whereas support equipment costs 4. So yeah, Artie is going to be where your value is at, especially if you're dealing with soft targets, which you are in Southeast Asia. Hey, Luke. Nice to meet you, man. Okay, so it looks like the incident's still going on with this guy. Itakagi. Not familiar with him. Hopefully he gets XP. Looks like he got a little bit. You like slow Japan, 5 times 25 armies plus marines in stock. I think you mean 5 times 24. China had lots of divisions in Artie, but was easy. Yeah. It wasn't, China wasn't hard. It's just like scary because of the amount of equipment that you're committing to this area that you don't get a lot of factories, I feel like. And we definitely didn't capture a lot of guns from them. Wow, I'm negative 77 on my armored cars. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, 
Oh, because of this. Okay, never mind. I know what I did wrong. We just need to do that, and then that should go away, hopefully. Yep. So a lot of that armored car production is kind of wasted. I guess I could filter in some armored cars into one of my tank templates or something like that. All right, Chris has got an answer for me. Artie has a base 50% reliability and Rocket has a base 80%. So you need overall a few more mills on Artie to catch the equivalent loss as opposed to Rockets. Really? That's interesting. Luca, I don't play Japan very often. I usually make 40 width divisions from China, invade the USSR. That's what I would like to do, for sure. Also, I did... Homa, you did not do Marco Polo or Ichigo. Had no debuff for army full strength from the start of the war. We did go Ichigo, for sure. Because that gave us the buff while we were fighting in China. So we can use our political power to get Institute Indiscriminate Conscription. So we can get more recruitable pop. Factory output. Special Forces Capacity Multiplier 2%. That would be nice. Let's see what we're looking at next. So we have a buff to building military factories. We're at total mobilization. We have plenty of manpower, especially now that we have China. It would be nice to get a theorist. I think that's what we should go next, the military theorist. Terakawi. Terauki. Terakawi. I'm going to call him Terakawi. Not sure if that's correct. Bearju, if you want to tell me how to line up over here, am I going to get Vichy France, Vichy France's, France's territory or not? Do they hand that over to me? I have no idea. Anyone in the chat could answer. Definitely going to go all infantry equipment all the time. It looks like we've caught up on our infantry equipment. Still can't make more Marines. That's what I really would like to make. Got Supremacy of Will with that amazing, um, the amazing buffs there. And then we're going to get the Bicycle Infantry Battalions next. Okay, so this is just... Okay, so we'll probably have to attack across this river here with two different forces. And then if I don't bring China into it, it would be better, I'm assuming. Um, less border gore, for sure. All right, so let's just zoom ahead here. And if anyone has, you know, any... Anything you spot, please throw it out in chat. It's all good. Okay, getting some divisions here. That's awesome. Let's put them on this template just in case. See what they have. Oh, 20 width with the support already. Very nice. So China's whipping out some divisions for me. You can get Siam into our faction. How do I do that, man? I'm assuming it's from the focus tree.
Those Chinese divisions are going to come in really handy. Okay, so if we get Siam into our faction, we're going to have plenty of surface area here to go up against the Raj and Malaya. Okay, so let's get the bicycles in effect here. We've got enough infantry equipment to where we can make battalions. And then mainly, everyone's saying that you have to worry about a lot of attrition with the bicycles. I think that they'd be ideal over here. Somewhere in some flat territory. Not in a jungle down here. So they're going to be built in the background. Yeah, we have China filling our garrison needs right here. Thank you for mentioning that. See if we can't downshift these to military government and build compliance quicker. Okay, World War II is kicking off. See about our construction here. I just wish this could go a little quicker. I would need those factories. I need them now. We have the next level of infantry equipment, but... I guess it's fine. Let's prioritize that. Oh, our carrier came out too. Let's get the fighter threes, is it? Fighter twos. Bear G, did you ever answer me? Do you think uh, fighter twos or heavy fighter? We're going to have a huge boost to our research here in a moment. Uh, we could definitely get... Um, Formation flying. We have a lot of boost to our industry here, or sorry, our research. This seems like it's the best bang for a buck at this point. And then we need to start churning out Toad Anti-Air. Regular fighters? Okay. I'll get that next. Unless industry starts coming on strong. Okay, so let's get the military theorist here, Terakawi. Took that <laughs> took two days off of that. Regimental combat teams. Okay, we got the bicycle infantry there. And then we're going to sign the tripartite pact. Let's go ahead and take a look at those glorious bicycle divisions. It's interesting. So do we have to design them from the ground up? So I could basically... 
God, we need a war because we need army XP because the next level of... Or actually, we got the 100% bonus between for the border war with Russia. So the next level of land doctrine will be 100% bonus to that. So I'm not too worried yet. But it does look like we're going to have to go from here, duplicate this into bicycle. Or maybe I just need to wait. Let's see, is there a bicycle icon on here? If not, um, that's sad. I thought there was a bicycle icon. Albert, hey. Good to see you, Albert. I'm probably just missing it, but there's got to be a bicycle icon here someplace. I'm going to give them the shark icon because it looks cool. Or actually, if I do nothing, it'll just show up, right? So if we go duplicate that. There it is. The sweet, sweet bicycle. So we go, what, 20 width bicycle? And then throw in a support arty division. That's it. That's the template. Okay, and then you get the icon. Perfect. Oh, nice. Look at this dude. He's riding that bike. Look at it looks like it's almost like a motorcycle. <laughs> I love it. He's even got the mud flaps on it, dude. I remember when I was a kid, I'd ride uh, my bicycle in the rain. And you can get this sweet looking uh, mud flap on the back. And that way, when you got to school, you wouldn't have like a, a butt stripe up your back from all the rain all the water whip whipping up onto your back and your butt. Okay, let's save this. <laughs> you got that huffy? <laughs> no, man, it would have been better if the, the crossbar was like a female crossbar, which to me doesn't even really make that much sense, but if it was just like lower... When you need to deliver the newspaper but get home in time for imperialistic purposes before 5 p.m. <laughs> I used to be a paper boy. And it was back in the day. I was actually, I had the bags and everything. Back when I was in 6th uh, <laughs> grade through 8th grade. And then they laid all the paper boys off. <laughs> it was a sad day, but it was like... <laughs> I wasn't going to be any paper boy while I was in high school, though, so I'm glad, kind of glad they, uh, they laid me off. China's just given me all the forces that they have, so that's fine. Okay, so after we sign the part tripartite pact, we go... Oh, alliance with Siam. That'll help with the war against the Raj. Strike South Doctrine. Uh, 2x times Naval Doctrine. Unlocks decision to demand Indochina. Okay, so we'll get Indochina like that. And then it looks like we need a non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union. Okay, got those regimental combat teams. Bear Jube, do you think I can take my troops off the border here? We don't need any more border conflicts, right? 
We already won that, so we don't need to do it anymore. Oh, look at this. Tanks and armor variants plus 10% enables tactic blitz. So let's pause here for a second. It enables the tactic blitz. What's funny to me is that's a half track, yet this is for tanks and armor variants, which is funny. Why don't I get a bonus to my trucks or my half tracks? Anyway, the tactic blitz requires your division hardness to be greater than 50%. So it's, you do not, it enables the tactic, but to qualify for the tactic, your division template has to be greater than 50%, the hardness, which we're not even close to. We need to ramp up tank production to even be able to take advantage of the blitz tactic. And I did not know that until I researched my video on uh, army tactics. Okay, so I can pull those guys off. Thank you very much. Oh, and this guy stole all of them? Let's get these guys over here just so that they're following the same path as where I'm going to have my, I guess it's all the sea province, so it doesn't really matter, but I'll just have them in the same area so I don't have to look in two areas. Gosh, what's going on here? Naval root efficiency, 0%. Okay, I guess I can't trade with you. Let's try with Vichy. Okay. Can actually take that off and be fine for the time being. We need these military factories. ASAP. Thanks, Albert. Thanks for the help. Is Terry uh, streaming right now? You can just call me ESG. If you look at my some of my first videos, people like make fun of me because I tried to like figure out what people could call me. Um. So I'd have people call me fish for short for efficient, but a lot of people thought that was funny. But I mean, when you're starting off at YouTube, you know nothing. I didn't know anything about anything. I just started live streaming like what, three weeks ago, four weeks ago. And uh, I didn't know anything about live streaming. You just learn as you go. Oh, Justin, what does the Navy look like? Uh, pretty much. We have a carrier Navy. A main uh, battleship Navy. So that's the battleship Navy. This is the carrier. I put all the carriers into one Navy. And um, then we pretty much have like a utility Navy over here. They have a few battleships, and then you got your subs. But as soon as you turn them on, you're practically out of oil. So we need that sweet oil from Malaya, or we're in big trouble. Okay, so Bearju, after we sign the pact, do you and go strike south doctrine? Would you go alliance with Siam before non-aggression pact with the Soviets? Or should we just rush down to here? I definitely don't want to, I want to skip provoking war against the U.S., so I'm going to skip uh, invasion of the Philippines.
Uh, you can call me ESG. I don't know. That's typically what the community calls me. So I think that's just the best thing because that's what people default to. Okay, what else do I need to pay attention to? Okay, we're quickly approaching those military factories that I so desperately need. These troops from China are a surprise, and they're a decent template, too. It's not too bad. Okay, so we got Tripartite, Strike South Doctrine, Unlocks Decision Demand Indochina. I would like Indochina, because that'll put me right up against the Raj. Oh, it's okay, Bear Jew. I forget what the last thing I asked you was. Oh, Siam or not? Do I go with the alliance with Siam or do I rush strike on the southern resource area? Did I inv uh, invade Manchuko in Manchuria? Uh, you just get this. I think from the start. They're your puppets. An Imperial Protectorate. Check that supply map on Indochina. Oh, and this is what the Kini. 125 days? What? Okay, that was a big surprise, Bear Jew. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Okay, we're going to be ready for war here in a minute. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. That's... Honestly, you can just uh, justify on the allies. That's what I do. Okay. An invasion can be risky. I prefer alliance. What about you? So I guess world tension is 100%, so we're not worried about spiking world tension. Um, so we go alliance with Siam, and then that will abut us up to British Malaya. And then we can declare war against Malaya, which will bring us into the fold against the allies. Okay, let's get those fighter twos. All right, finally, we're starting up with the industry now. And then this needs to upgrade. Check the supply map. Okay, what am I looking for here in the supply map? Not sure what we're looking for here.
the area where you launch your invasion from. Right here. Okay, so it's 8 of 35. Required 8.93. Supported 35. So it looks like we're fine there. And this is a level 10 port right here. And there is a level 10 port coming from our capital. Or at least there should be. The level 10 port right here. So we should be able to supply this area just fine. Ro, nice to meet you, man. Why is the Navy stuff on this game so confusing? Um, I don't know, because the buttonology is a little different. But uh, it is very complex. This is a very complex game. It's trying to simulate World War II, which is obviously incredibly complex. But yeah, you have a bunch of things going on here. And um, the thing that I was overlooking, like in part of my past playthroughs, is that you can actually grant avoid access. And therefore, all these trade routes will go around certain provinces if you know that there's a fleet operating in this uh, naval area. You can have them, you can literally block access, and then your convoys won't go through that way. So that is actually really beneficial. But there is a lot of micro. Play Japan to learn the Navy, for sure. What I found out is you can only operate the Navy for a short period of time. <laughs> okay, so we got Strike South Doctrine. Then we'll do Alliance with Siam, and then hopefully I get access. And then we'll see about going up against British Malaya. So if I justify, it's going to take me 100 days. Twenty political power. Let's go for it. <laughs> Unlocks decision demand Indochina. So let's demand Indochina. Once you get British Malaysia, you can do whatever you want. Malaya. Why is it? It's like Malaysia in real life, but it's British Malaya. Look at that anti-tank weapon right there. It's like a throwing javelin. Okay, I think it's time to upgrade. So since we're going to start occupying areas again we probably need a military police too which would give us a lot of bonuses to that occupation we still have a hundred percent bonus on the heavy fighter we just need we don't have the production to support heavy fighter production okay concentrated industry for sure ESG try invading Indochina because uh, that happened through the war in the Southeast Asia. Try invading Indochina. So this is Indochina, right? Wouldn't that piss off Germany if I declared war against Vichy France? Okay, the French accept our demands. A wise move. Oh, that looks so sweet. Oh, we, we have to occupy it, though. All right, let's uh, count our armored cars here. 519. Luckily, we have the Chinese support here for manpower. Oh, wow. They are very upset. They are very pissed off at us. So we're going to go martial law.
You guys didn't tell me that was going to happen. <laughs> oh, this can definitely go down to secret police. It doesn't look like we need too many divisions here. We might even... So 10 times 60, we need... 10 times 60, 600. We need 600 armored cars in the stockpile to be able to change that to the MP division template. Okay, that's looking good. see about this rubber. I'm just trying to see if there's anyone that we just acquired that I can get these resources from. It seems like I should get it from... Well, I guess that's core now. Not, I didn't net many resources from them. Zero of 60? I don't get any of the resources. Oh, that sucks. So Japan attacked down here in French Indochina? Is that what we're saying what happened? That's interesting. So we're about to get the alliance with Siam, hopefully. And yeah, we should be kicking out more troops. Uh, let's go ahead with this. Let me see how I'm at with my support equipment. We have 2,000, so that's great. Uh, the bicycles, however, how much uh, support equipment do we need? Wow, 100. Okay. All right. We're not going to be using the bike divisions in the south, so I want to prioritize this China Arty template. And we'll use them up against the Raj and Malaya. See if I can't churn out 24 divisions. Wow, way behind on the artillery. Okay, I should have expected that. So we'll build into it here. Let me sh make sure our roads are decent. So supply is going to have to come up. Probably through here. Yeah, I'll probably have to go through there. I just don't want to have any issues with supply, so I'm going to upgrade all those areas. Who's your favorite major to play? Germany. Eric came just now. Why didn't he call? He got all of China. Um, this is like a min-max strategy right here. And um, if you puppet off China, you can actually take the manpower and use it for foreign support in occupied territories and um, you click this button down here request garrison support and I think you actually get more usable manpower let's get our planes into position let's get ready here Okay, we've got the invasion on Borneo pretty ready to go.
Looks to me like Cass would be more important down here. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see what we have in reserve. A lot of Cass. That's perfect. And then we do need to think about building more air bases over here. See, over here might be a better air base situation. Thanks, Albert. No problem, Eric. Okay, got the improved computing machines, which means our research speed is really good now. Bearju likes to prioritize construction. If you watch my videos, I don't. I like to prioritize assembly line production. But we're doing Bearju's build today, so we'll do as Bearju plays. Still waiting on that alliance with Siam, and then right after that, we should get the war goal against British Malaya. We'll then get another war goal. So you only do your war goals one at a time because the time that it takes, if you have to justify two war goals at once, uh, it takes a lot longer. So we will get the war goal against British Malaya. We'll declare war and then rinse and repeat after that. And it will be quicker that way. It typically is quicker if you do your war goals like that. Albert, you never told me, or maybe someone can check it out. Is Mr. Terry streaming right now? Mr. Terry is another YouTuber that's really good. You guys should, ch should check him out. But basically, he uh, raided me two streams ago. Okay, sweet, dude. Yeah, Mr. Terry raided me two streams ago, and he actually raided me last stream. And uh, it was pretty cool. What's going on here? They're out of manpower? China's out of manpower? Wow. <laughs> Alert the presses, guys. China's out of manpower. Okay, so I need 21. Holy mackerel. Where can I deploy these guys? Move this guy down there so he can support British Malaya invasion. I left and I'm staying here till you stop streaming. And if he is still is streaming, I'll go to him. But if he isn't, I'll do something else. What's Mr. Terry playing today? Okay, that's a little expensive. Uh, I think the MP would probably be best. Check out these occupied territories. Okay, resistance is going down quite a bit. I still can't use the ideal template down here in China. Let's move China down to secret police. They can go local police in the Gangzi click. For sure, bro. Uh, just go ahead on to my YouTube 
ba uh, page and in the banner in the right hand corner of the banner you'll see my discord oh he's playing assassin's creed odyssey again okay cool oh he was playing um the u.s one before i think i saw him saying that he thought odyssey was the best one i'm not sure Siam accepts invitation to the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere. This doesn't look like it's that. Exploit the Southern Resource Area. Singapore add production of 12 aluminum. One infrastructure. That doesn't seem that great. Okay, so strike the southern area. We can just... Okay, so I'm assuming we're done with this. So this... Oh, Credfield, finally. Me and Baird, you were uh, hoping you, you would show up. Bombard their bases in British Malaya so we don't lose many troops. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Credfield. Credfield, I needed you here, man. My moderator. There's people saying mean things about uh, Grand Battle Plan Doctrine. Where were you, man? I mean, they're saying real nasty things about get Grand Battle Plan Doctrine. It's horrible. You missed it, dude. <laughs> Just kidding, dude. I uh, I have no idea what to do next. What do you guys think, chat? We're skipping the bottom part of this. That's for sure. Bear Jude. So, dude, I tried to make you moderator. Here, let's try again. You were not searchable on YouTube, Bear Jew. Yeah. You were 100% not searchable on YouTube. Interesting. Naval invade the UK? I would like to. How about we naval invade the UK from, like, the Russian side? That's what I would like to do. It's pronounced Gwang. She click. Okay. Bearju is a spy. I want to skip the Philippines because I don't want to uh, get involved with the U.S., and take over the U.S. later. But Bearju, where are we going next on the focus tree, man? Or if anyone else has... Uh... So... I know everyone wants me to go kamikaze strike. Because that's super powerful. I just think it's awesome that there's so many specific things that you can get with this focus tree build for Japan. Such as kamikaze strikes and the... Um, the special type of torpedo cruisers that we're building. Did you do Navy Tech? Um, I have been. Unified Fighter Development. Remove National Spirit Duplicate Research Efforts. What is what does that mean? Superior will. Is that a brain? That's funny. Duplicate research efforts. Air research speed negative ten percent. Really? Are we researching anything in the air? So I guess that doesn't matter. However, we could start researching stuff in the air, but 
I'm told that kamikaze strikes are super powerful. Range focus. Air research speed 15%. Well, that's already better than removing duplicate research eff efforts because that's a plus 15%. Fighter range, 10%. This seems to be good. We did do the Soviet borders, and we went out. Okay, Bearju, range focus next. Kamikazes destroy American fleet. If I had, I will have to go against the British fleet, though, so. This seems more like a long-term deal. It would, is a buff to... My overall Air Force. So I think I'll go range focus. Yeah, I did that, Credfield. Okay, let's let's just do range focus. Uh, I didn't get a war goal against the Soviets. What does my navy look like? Pretty much the same. Where are my spies? That's something to look into. Oh, I haven't been microing my spies. Okay. Well, shucks. Let's put them over there. This is going to be a huge area that I have to control, so we're going to need MPs next. Okay, we already have MPs, sorry. Let's see when we get the war goal over here. January 22nd, so we have a month, and then we're going to be in the thick of things again. I need to get this army out. Let's actually get one more of these divisions out. You can always claim your North Island if you want to push north. Be careful, a naval and uh, bombardment is a good option before the invasion. Like, I definitely want to do that, uh, so I should bring my navy down as close as I can. And this is a level 10 port, but these ports are even more crucial. They're closer to down here. And I need to supply these areas well. Let's max out this port. And we'll prioritize that. Get these sub fleets up. You want to claim in the Soviet island if you want to push north? Got it. Looks like you can come around there or around there. Backstab Germany. Well, we got to get through this first. Okay, that looks to be a little too spread out. Let's try to go something like this for convoy rating. Maybe. Yeah. And then let's get this fleet a little closer. Space them over here. Let's get these guys out.
get another general going. It's going to have to be an infantry general if we have that choice. Nishio looks good. He's a good attacker as well. Samurai lineage. I'm still not sure what that does. Let's go Nishio. Okay, these boys are going to sit it out. The guys with all the heavy equipment. We're just going to be in such poor terrain. I mean, eventually I could probably move them over once we get to the flat country over here in the British Raj. Maybe I should start thinking about that. Get these guys down here. They should be able to cut off that appendage fairly quickly. Then these guys don't even have a battle plan. Okay, we're going to attack through the south here. So their job will be to take out this appendage down here. Let's send them south. We'll send him north. Was oh, that the Chinese guy? It must be the Chinese battle plan there. Okay, there we go. Yes, G, don't forget Hong Kong. Thank you. Got to get past those mountains in India for sure. Can you go next to Manchuria? I think I saw a nation you can attack that borders Mongolia, China, and Manchuko. Uh, Tanatuva? They side with the Soviets always. Can you pair drop people into Bangkok? No, we don't have paratroopers. Why not naval invade India and bypass the river mountains and the borders? I think we could just run over them, though, Credfield. And I'm using my invasion over here. We'll see what happens with the Raj. Um, we should probably go... Malaya, East Indies, then the Raj. So maybe these other forces over here need to actually face south. Let's let's change this up. Like this guy is probably going to need help down here, I think. Now I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. And as soon as I start moving my fleets around, look at that 48 days worth of oil. That is ouch. You get nasty debuffs on the mountain rivers. Okay, well, we have plenty of time to set up an invasion against the Raj. Because uh, we'll invade Malaya first. Let's put this more seasoned guy down here against Malaya. And he can always go back to that battle plan.
See that green one, Menguko? Uh, we already own it. It's a Imperial Protectorate. Okay, what do we just get here? Two different things. This is a funny looking tank. Okay, so we got that light tank threes already. Let's get the production. If we're going to go heavy fighters, we're going to need them pretty much right off the bat. We're going to need them pretty quickly. And I know they're going to come in handy because we need to increase our production efficiency on them. So I'm going to go and get that out of the way. Um, if we invade Mongolia, I think uh, the Soviets come in on their side. We're not ready for war in the north yet. We want to make sure that we get all this down here and then we can look north to the Soviets. So let's do this one step at a time. Okay, these guys down here. Okay, they're moving down. What about our infrastructure down there? Oof. I have no idea what the infrastructure is down there, so that might go poorly. We'll see. Okay, they're moving down fairly quick. Cypher for the UK is fully decrypted. Excellent. Let's try doing the Raj's Cypher if we can. God, this always trips me up. I guess I'll be able to change the ciphers here in a minute. Okay, that's going to be 400 days for the Raj. Never mind. We might have already taken over the Raj by then. Let's go, Soviets. Yeah, Justin, that's what we're going to do. It looks like I only need to dominate this area right here. Okay, no one's using their fuel capacity. My question is... If I turn these guys on, like right now, is it going to start using fuel immediately? It does. Hmm. That's interesting. So we'll use these battle groups to shore bombard, as you suggest, Albert. So they can literally just move over there. Maybe we have to be at war first. I'm not sure what the deal is. And then these guys can operate over here. And they'll be strike force. We actually don't want all these divisions to be moving, though. So that's interesting. So they can move up, but these guys can't. Okay, there we go. Bonsai time. Yeah, the train is terrible. A real slog. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Carriers are ready. We've got our other fleet right here for shore bombardment.
this fuel thing is really scary for Japan, but that's how it was. So it makes a lot of sense. Doesn't look like these guys are suffering from too much attrition. There's only two divisions down here too, so that is reassuring. Try invading Sri Lanka first. Okay, it's on like Donkey Kong. All right, let's try this here. Good to hear, Albert. So let's get this naval invasion done here. Gonna have to put these guys on naval invasion support. Gotta hate how it does that. Okay. Okay, whatever. These guys need to stay on hold. Okay, are we able to go yet? What's going on here? No reachable strategic area selected? Okay. How about that? All right, now we're kicking off here. Uh, these guys need to head down. We need to call them into the war so we can attack. That looks like that's going to be really short. And then we need to justify against the Dutch East Indies. Ten days. Wow, that's awesome. These guys are still on their way. I think speed is the key here. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So we have a port. Let's just take this whole region real quick. We need to increase the size of the port right off the bat. North Borneo. And then we'll put these guys over. And we'll prepare another naval invasion over onto the main island here. So we can conquer this island from British Malaya here. And then this island all connects. So I'll just have to worry about these individual islands later. Just push those guys around the Indies. Okay. Will do.
British Malaya just capitulated. Oh, we're up against the Raj now, huh? Had no idea. Okay, so those guys will filter back up here and start attacking the Raj. It doesn't look like I'm going to have time to do any big things over there. Where's this guy going? Let's get these guys out of training. The island of Malaya? Okay, so these guys can head over and rebase down there. Or actually, I could probably just have them sit there and then provide air support. And then they'll rebase down there and support the naval invasion down there. I still have to shuttle a few divisions across to... Oh, and we have to worry about this, right? You guys told me. Okay, he can go over there. We can modify our government yet again. Army logistics would probably be the best thing to do. I think taking Sri Lanka is smart because you'll be invading the Raj by two sides. Where is Sri Lanka? I'm still trying to figure that out. I don't think we really have too much of an option here with the Raj. We just got to force our way through. If you can capture Dutch East Indies, you'll be set. Place, <laughs> place is a gold mine. Yeah, for sure. Uh, looks like Siam's going to get the British Raj, but we'll sort that out with the uh, peace accord after that's done. Okay, a couple of these divisions should be over here. Okay, they're moving down there. Perfect. Get those guys down there, too. Oh, and we do not have air superiority over here. There we go. All right, we got the range focus. Now let's go for kamikazes. So the warrior spirit will give us the kamikaze airstrike. pay more attention to what I'm doing here. There, that's going to help out a lot. Got plenty of casts that I could bring to bear.
As soon as we get this airport over here. Start bringing in more stuff over there. That's a nice airport, 2,000 capacity, that's great. go yeah fuel big issue for japan for sure man <laughs> okay and we got this let's see if anything's left we can put some fighters or something up over there in borneo some real good surfing down there in Indonesia. That's all I know. Okay, we're already at war with them. So we don't need to have any more war goals as far as I know. It looks to me like we should have just come through this pass right here so we would have had control over this territory because I can't construct anything for Siam so I have no idea what's going on over here when these guys are ready they can just go across I want these guys to be ready for when we cross this mountain range. So let's just put them like right there. Okay, we can trade with Siam now. Let's trade with the uh, United States for that aluminum. Okay, free military factory is perfect. So let's go ahead and upgrade our tank production. Okay, that needs to be upgraded for sure. We lost all of our production efficiency there. Starting to get low manpower warnings. I'm not too worried. And then they're requesting to join wars. They don't really need to join the war. They're not even bordering any any place that we're attacking, so it shouldn't be an issue. We can use that extra cast down here in Borneo. Ask Siam for their territory in Malaya. Like right now or after, we can request garrison support. That's nice to have. If 
The other nice thing is that Siam is having to garrison uh, the British Raj, which I didn't actually think about, so that might actually be a little better. What I've conquered of British Malaya, there's not very much resistance so far. See my armored car production. It looks like I can support occupying with the better division template in China, but I'm going to hold off. Okay, and that's looking fine. Okay, I'm upgrading the port, perfect. Looks like a really bad supply situation right there, for sure. My man coming over. My motorized divisions. Uh-oh. Let's turn some of this navy off. Okay, they're still on hold. They're on hold. Let's turn off this um, amphibious support. Amphibious landing support. Okay, we got the heavy fighters, so we'll pour some production into that. I would always suggest researching the upgrades on the guns first. I think you should go Papua New Guinea. It's currently occupied the, by the Aussies, so after do, invading, it will need some naval superiority. Oh, over here? Am I at war with them? Oh my goodness, I am. Let's finish off this right here. He's almost ready for his uh, naval invasion of the Dutch mainland. Dutch East Indies mainland. Let's see where I can get some oil. Do I have a land route on any of these? It's pretty much going to be the Soviets, unfortunately. So we're not getting any of this stuff. Get Indonesia for the resources and ask Siam for the Malaya part of the resources. Okay. Gotcha. So basically trade with Siam. Siam. They don't have oil, do they? It doesn't look like it. Uh-oh, running into a wall down here. Let's prioritize... Let's see, the infrastructure in uh, Borneo here. That's going to be our high impact. Okay. 
And then Bearju, I don't know if you were watching. I think you said to get logistic logistics companies. I'm going to go ahead and start to get that because I can see here it's going to cut my fuel usage and that's going to be so key in the supply usage. We are getting plenty of support equipment, so I will be able to do that. It looks like we're way behind on our production of guns. And then we're going to need to catch up on heavy fighters as well, and that's going to be very useful in the Pacific. Going to control B and have them strategically redeploy. Not sure why they're still up there. Okay, so it looks like we have a chance to encircle six divisions over here. I need to start using this air XP up again. Okay, let's fix this a little bit. Can do war propaganda against someone eventually. What we need is stability. Bike divisions, I've never tried them. We're going to go, so we have the bike divisions. We're just going to go bike divisions as soon as we invade uh, the Soviet Union. Looks like we have enough guns, so let's start training them. We'll just train a few here. Actually, though, does that require artillery? Yeah, let's we're going to have to not train them yet until after the war. Oh, sweet. We got an encirclement down here. That's going to help quite a bit. Looks like we squarely have air superiority. And where's my fleet? So I need a job around my carrier fleet here. There we go. And then they'll have a bombardment bonus. to aid all those divisions. Awesome. Okay, this guy's ready to go. So let's put him on... Invasion support. He'll cross, and then we'll get these other 14 divisions ready to go as well. See how we're doing in the air real quick. Is that on a carrier force? What the heck's going on here? It's 
240 of them. Put them down there in Borneo. Okay, this is overcrowded. Okay, we're heading over. And we have kamikazes. Enables production of Yakusaka MXY7 Oka. Not sure what that does. This would be nice to get this uh, synthetic refinery. 100% research for synthetic resources as well. The Manchurian Project. Manchuko gained base stability 10%, war support 10%, 150 political power. Okay, I did not know about this. Okay, so we can help out Manchuko quite a bit, but the 150 political power is pretty strong right there. We could also take uh, duplicate research effort efforts. Hey, Red Star. Nice to meet you, man. Oh, wow. We can get another 100% bonus to armor technology, but we really don't need it. Um, this would be good. 100% research, research bonus for infantry weapons. That would be very impactful. The political power, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I guess I would upgrade our conscription law. This, uh, enemy air superiority is fairly, um, good. But we're going to need to upgrade the conscription law next for sure. We have a little time on that. So I'm just going to bang around here. Let's get the infantry weapons first. Does Afghanistan have, does Afghanistan have any resources? I don't think so. Kiyoki, make sure Manchuria isn't going down their secession focus if you're playing non-historical. Nah, we're playing historical. Elite Iron Man Moan. So you don't give them free political power. Gotcha. Let's just get the guns and go from there. Okay, so these guys need to get on here. And they're going... I think all the way down there. Everyone should be on aggressive battle plans. Oh, and we're over. Alright. Let's bring over our armored spearhead. Is that a hill or a mountain? That's a mountain. So I don't want them to attack there. Let's give them a path through some fairly open territory. This is pretty open around here. Mountainous a little bit. Hmm. Let's have them cut across through here. See how that goes. And... Got to micro my air better. Wow, we still don't have air superiority over there. That's crazy. Get these guys back up here.
Okay, got the upgraded military police. There's not much we can do with uh, industry right now. We're going to be taking this game pretty late game. Um, but this is going to take a whole year to get. So it'll be May 1942 that I'll get this. I'm going to wait for the infantry upgrade that we're getting from our focus tree right now to go for this. I think that I really need to just focus on getting all the artillery upgrades. And then someone mentioned in chat that if you go rocket artillery, there's less... Um, oh gosh, you get less... Um, attrition with rocket artillery uh, so that might be something to look at as well but further down the line okay so all these guys are over I can take this guy off of naval invasion support and save some oil up things are going pretty well in Borneo here I need to get these two ports though and hopefully I get some encirclements I might even want to pump my brakes right here because if these guys can sweep down fast enough that would be better these guys could take that out first that would be best Ooh, adaptable. This man's a god now. Rocket already lowers your division weight and reduces D. I was told that it reduces uh, attrition. Which I'm assuming is accurate. Reduces supply needed for divisions. Makes sense. Let's see if I can get this around right here. Need this airport over here for sure. Micromanaging which divisions get it as hell. Gotcha. Okay, so those guys are going to escape over there. Uh, I could start picking off people in here as they try to get around. So let's do that. We're going to have to get some more oil from someone. And then these guys are going to have to come in and do convoy raiding. They won't be needed over there, but they will be needed. They won't be needed over there, but right here they will be. Let's try to focus right there. And then these guys can focus. Let's have them be on patrol. And we'll get our little strike force going right there. And hopefully as these divisions start moving around, we'll take them all out. I don't know. These guys could even be on convoy rating as well. Nine days of oil. Wow. 
This is going to ruin our construction. I think it's going to be so crucial, though, to make sure that these divisions don't escape. You can ask Siam to return Singapore to you. How am I doing that, Credfield? How does that work? Where is Singapore? Is that down here? Puppet Siam? Ask control of state. Okay. We are now in charge of that state. Okay. All right. All right. Mind blowing, Credfield. Thank you. <laughs> Can I control the rest of their states? Okay. It doesn't look like it. All right. Let's see what I got from that. All right, I wish I had known I could have done that earlier. No oil right there. The oil is coming up through over here, though. We got some oil over here. That basically just gave us all the rubber and tung tungsten we'll ever need. Ro, what did you mean, man? I think that's what Credfield wanted me to do. When I said historical, I'm talking about the box you click when you start the campaign. Yeah, we're on a historical mode for sure. Okay, we got the five division encirclement right there. I'm quite happy about that. That's going to open up things in the Raj. Looks like we got some dockyards, so... Okay, Credfield is all about... Let me take a look at his guide. And I posted Credfield's guide down in the description box below. Ship loadouts. Let's get uh, as modern a carrier as I possibly can get. Why did I say Credfield? I meant Bearjew. <laughs> yeah, sorry, not your guy, dude. So let's see what we can do here. We'll take the Sorayu class. And let's see what upgrades we have. So I guess this doesn't really upgrade anything. I guess this is as good as we can get right now. So we'll make one of those. Carrier hull Kai C. And this is going to go into our carrier squad there. We'll just do one.
God, I need to get this. Is there any way to get air bases up closer? It doesn't look like it. It's going to be a really weird transitional time. I could bring my carrier over. Uh, that might be the way to go. The carrier is providing a shore bombardment, though, right here. And it looks like as they're moving their troops around, we are just obliterating them. So that looks awesome. So my strategy is working. I hope those are troop carriers. Or it might just be resources. So as soon as this is done, my carriers can come over here and then I can help out over in the Raj. Justin, finish off the Dutch East Indies first. All right. And of course we're having resistance problems. I might have enough armored cars. Yeah, I have enough armored cars now for China. So this can be the upgraded template. That should reduce uh, resistance for sure. Gonna have to upgrade that. And yeah, this is not gonna work for the Dutch East Indies and they're gonna need martial law for British Malaya for sure. Do US playthrough next? All right, Roman. I have no idea how to do US. I haven't even thought about what I'm gonna do next. Would you be happy, Roman, if I went back and did a Germany playthrough for you? That's kind of what I specialize in. Let's swing these guys around so that they can help out here. Because we need to take this port. So the real thing that I'm trying to get to uh, is Germany. Like the... My new imp and improved Germany build. Oh shit, we stopped doing this. Damn. Okay, do we go shock and awe or air land battle? Let's see what we get here. Shock and awe enables tactic breakthrough. For breakthrough, I think our hardness needs to be above 50% as well to be able to do that. Okay, this is a buff to armored cars. We have armored cars. Reconnaissance plus one. That is really important, actually. All infantry and modern mech, soft attack 5%. Okay, this increases hard attack. Air superiority 20%. Ooh. We have so much air, though. I'm thinking I should go down this line right here. The air land battle. Just to get that air superiority of 20%. Like, that's so huge. All frontline battalions, 5% organization. We get the reinforcement rate. Soft and heart attack buffs. And then this just gives me a heart attack buff, which doesn't help me at all right now. Oh my, good to see you, man. The U.S. is fun if you like building in lots of resources. 10,000 fighters. Paint the world green with air power. Since we're going to go up against Russia, I'm going to go down this side and start buffing our heart attack. Okay, so we're going to get some encirclements over here. God dang it. The U.S. is in the war now. Alright, we just got the 9 Division Encirclement there. 
Let's get our carriers up here to where the Raj is. Okay, these guys are moving back over to the line. That's perfect. Let's adjust this line a little bit. So now we just have to focus on the Raj, and then the U.S. is going to do something. Okay, this is a little wacky here. This needs to be a little more concentrated. That looks a bit better. Did we get that airfield in here? Almost. Oh. Okay, we do have it. Perfect. I hate when these leaders fall ill. Okay, did my carrier make it up there? Perfect. Only have eight days of oil left. Jeez. Okay, so this is looking quite good here. So the capital is probably going to go from Batavia, maybe somewhere down here to, I think, this island over here. So I'm going to have to chase that around the place. I'm not sure what the U.S. is going to be doing to me in the east. We're definitely not going to take on mainland U.S. As soon as we get the British Raj shown, sewn up, I'm pretty sure the Brits are going to start attacking me with landings to the Raj. And they'll probably ignore down here in Asia. I don't mind the fact that Siam is basically... I could probably ask to take control of certain states of Siam, so I could get the British Raj back from them. Not a problem if I want to do that, but it's nice that they have to handle all the suppression duties in this area. Yeah, so I, I don't even occupy any uh, British Raj territory, so that's awesome. I definitely, with the forces that I have now, can take over everything down here. And that would be nice. So, I pre pretty much just have a Southeast Asia army, and then we'd think about invading the Soviets. And I do need to get out those bicycle divisions. We're way behind on our arty production, so... Let me fix that. Need to build the better guns. But yeah, I think I'm going to stop the stream here, or I'm going to stop playing it. If you guys have anything, any comments, Alvin, good to see you. Please just uh, write them in chat, and uh, we'll wrap up the stream for tonight. Uh, so that's basically it. The bicycle divisions are in effect. I just need to have enough equipment to build them. And once we get the, the Raj under control, which we are, got all the green bubbles right here we should be able to get that very quickly and once we get this area taken care of as well 
we'll start thinking about invading the Soviet Union for the next stream. For you new guys that I'm just meeting, Albert, Roman, Alvin, uh, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining, guys. Homa, I know this is the first uh, live stream you've been on. Homa, make sure to uh, tell me how that Italy bill goes. Yegor, good to see you, man. I'll be streaming on Thursday. So my streams are every Thursday and Sunday, 8.30 Pacific Standard Time. Kalata. Thanks, Homa. Oh, it's okay, Credfield. Bear Jew is just like, where is Credfield? <laughs> yeah, no problem, Credfield. Thanks for all your help, always. Thanks for being moderator. Uh, but this is this is different than the Western theater. And I, I really have a lot of fun with this build, this Jap the Japan build. It's basically Germany, except uh, the focus is on air and navy and not so much ground forces. I think Bearju might be off right now. I haven't seen him for a while. Just need to naval invade everyone. Yeah, to me, that feels like it's more micro-intensive. I like Germany because I can focus in on, like, one country at a time. You do have to, like, job around with your navy, your air, and everything. It's pretty cool. If I naval invade uh, India, it's ten times easier. No, I agree, for sure. I should have definitely done that as well, and I could have gotten... We could have just gone across here someplace and then opened up that new front. Let's have them help up there instead. You can invade India, Iran, Iraq, and the Suez Channel. I don't know if there's much point to invading Iraq. What happens in my longer Italy and Germany playthroughs is that uh, the AI Japan does do that. It would be nice to kind of not have to worry about the UK at all. Because if I own those territories, as you know, you suggested, the UK would be more apt to land over here in Germany. And they'd probably leave this alone. And I'd have to worry about the U.S. more than anything. That would definitely simplify things. And I like to, like, not have to worry about, like, Australia, for instance. So I feel like driving down to Australia and getting the Raj out of the way is the next thing. Then we can start focusing on the Middle East if... If my allies, Italy and Germany, just aren't uh, doing what I need them to do. World domination. I think that Africa is just a staging point for them to, uh, the allies to take back the Raj. And if this was all Axis, then I wouldn't have to worry about naval invasions over here, basically. Well, it doesn't look like uh, Mr. Terry raided, or maybe Mr. Terry is still streaming or something. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to end the stream here, guys. Um, thank you so much for joining. I'm going to uh, talk to Bearju after and um, in between videos, but Thursday night, 8.30 Pacific time is the next time I'll be streaming. 
So hopefully I see you guys then. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. And I'll see you on the next one.